your inbox may have become a weapon and the thing is you don't even have to click a thing in today's video we will talk about the recent critical vulnerability that hit the round the cube open source webmail this vulnerability shaked the entire email security world Probably you have seen round the cube mail before when you were opening your mail right from your hosting provider. That's how it looks like. Um, round cube basically is a free and open source web mail project. Now, from the inside, that's how it looks. And I believe if you have a website and you host it somewhere using one of the hosting providers, you must have seen this interface before. This is the interface of round the cube. Tonight's the night, and it's going to happen again and again. Open your eyes and look! As you will see in this video, uh, basically, if someone has valid login credentials to round the cube, uh, they could run malicious code on the server, which is actually a big deal. So if anyone, if an attacker has access to your round the cube mail, they can compromise your server. Now, the good news is that with just one update to the newer versions released by round the cube, you will be safe. Now, let's look at the cause or the root cause of this vulnerability. If we check out the official git page of round the cube mail and we take a look at the commits or the changes so here i'm checking version uh, 1.5.11 and in the other page we are checking also 1.6.11 as i said earlier the vulnerability affects versions prior to 5.11 and 6.11 so everything before 5.11 meaning 5.10 or 6.10 is vulnerable now, if you have a look at the version 6.11, 1.6.11, we see here the uh, commits that have been implemented. Now, we are talking about the main file that contains the weakness, which is upload.php. Okay, so here the from property takes a user input, get input string, and it stores the value or processes the value in what is called as the C deserialization without any checks on the supplied input by the user. So there are no checks here whether the user is supplying uh, the output type expected by the application. So the application here or around the cube mail expects a string, but there are no checks. Now, if we take a look at these lines, which have been added as a commit in the new version, we see the fix that have been implemented. So here we have an if statement that uh, checks whether the supplied input in our cube utilities okay is a string if it is not a string type uh, it's going to throw an error the url parameter from contains disallowed characters and the request is thus rejected so if the input is not string it's going to reject the uh, user input that is the fix and that's the update that round cube has released in the newer versions so everything before 6.11 or uh, 5.11 don't contain this or these lines okay so it is for, that's why it was vulnerable that's the core of this vulnerability now the thing is when the from uh, property takes the input from the user and the attacker supplies a specially crafted payload the attacker will be able to execute uh, remote system commands and therefore we have an RC okay now let's talk about the proof of concept to exploit this vulnerability, a proof of concept is provided through this Git page. And basically, it relies on this file. So that's the file that you need to execute. Let's have a look. That's exploit code. And here, if we take a look at the arguments, so we have target URL, username, password, and command. The target URL is the URL with around the queue mail. So here, we have to provide this URL. Okay. All right, username and password. We said earlier that we have to provide, or the attacker has to have valid credentials. So the username and password of the login should also be provided and the command to execute. It could be a reverse shell or it could, it could be a bind shell. We provide these in for executing the uh, proof of concept. So here first, the, the code obtains CSRF token and a session cookie. And then if we scroll down, we have the function for the CSRF and the session cookie. All right. And then this is for the authentication. So this function injects the payload. And we see that the payload is basically injected um, in the form property here. 
So the form or the from, sorry, the from property we talked about earlier, which uh, was the main vulnerable component in the uh, original code of Round Cube, takes the user input without any um, fil filtering or without any uh, validation. So for demonstration purposes, we're going to use the newly released room in TriHackle, Round Cube CVE, uh, which has uh, the all necessary technical requirements and labs to reproduce the vulnerability or to reproduce the exploit. So uh, here, make sure to deploy the attacker machine and target machine. See, so I have the attacker machine, and I already downloaded the uh, exploit or the proof of concept from uh, the uh, page. So here we're going to cd to the directory of the page of the uh, repo, and we have the PHP file or the PHP proof of concept. To execute this, we're going to have to, again, uh, make sure that the parameters are or the arguments are ready. So we have the username and password, which are valid credentials uh, for the uh, round the cube mail. We have the URL, and we're going to select the command to execute. We're going to follow on with the guide here. Uh, basically, we're going to execute this command, which uh, is a bind shell. So we're going to copy this and say PHP CVE and then provide the URL first. And I copy the URL from here. And then we're going to provide the username and password, the pair of credentials. They are provided here at the very first of the task. So that's the username. And this is the password. And lastly, we want the command. We're going to stick with the command uh, provided in this guide. So it is the bind shell. So the difference between bind shell and reverse shell, if you remember, bind shell allows you to connect to the compromised server. Reverse shell connects from the compromised server to your attacker machine. So here, from here, after executing this command, we still need to connect to the compromised server. It establishes a listener on the attacker server, on the compromised server. We execute this, and we get this output injecting payload. As you can see, the payload is injected in the from parameter which is the main vulnerable component. Payload injected successfully, executing payload. We're gonna to have to wait uh, a minute or two for this to be completed successfully. So at the end, we have a warning and it looks like the exploit did not work. However, if we try to connect now using the IP address of the target machine. So the machine has an IP address or the vulnerable machine has this IP address. You can try to connect to this uh, machine because we have a uh, listener running there waiting for us. And we're going to remove this. Let's see. So we were supposed to connect with Netcat. That's correct. Now, if we try to execute some command, you see now we are able to execute system command. So we have a valid RCE here. ID dub 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 data. So that's how a compromise. That's how you can compromise the server, and that's how attackers can compromise your uh, uh, website or your server posted anywhere if the round the cube version is before the versions we talked about okay now let's have uh, the questions here so one of the users has the first name of maggie what's her last name so here we uh, see first where we are okay see the home so we have the users maggie byte so the last name is byte and what is the value of the flag saved in etc? So the directory etc says that there is a flag file here. Flag of text cat flag text, and that's a flag. As for the mitigation, it's enough to upload the round cube. To the recently released versions. Users running 1.5 and 1.6 are recommended to update to 1.5.10 and 1.6.11. So if you have 1.5.9 or 6.10, meaning that the you need to patch immediately. So basically, if you are using GroundCube as part of your hosting provider plan, uh, host, your hosting provider has to update uh, the GroundCube version. They have to do it immediately. So this was it.